Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're either catching me on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44, or my Facebook page, True Divine 44. Like, share, subscribe, and comment on either or both of those platforms is greatly appreciated and much love to everybody who's doing that thus far. Love you all. So I'm putting out free content as much as I can. This is part of that. It's the daily energy read for the 7th of May 2020. Um, I pick up on the energies around me, translate those via tarot and bring them to you. It's your job to be discerning, to take what resonates with you, take anything that I say that hits you here um, and make of it what you need to make of it. Uh, but leave the rest behind, leave what doesn't resonate with you because it is a collective reading, a general reading. Uh, leave that behind also because there is the problem of people manifesting things into their life that they really didn't have before but they've heard a reading, they've gotten hooked onto it and have convinced themselves and therefore manifested the very thing that they didn't really need to worry about. So don't bend the readings to your will but certainly take on board what resonates, what gets you here. So this is for the 7th of May 2020 as I said and the first card is this um, Air Princess, this Page of Swords in reverse. Now this speaks of um, an imposter, there's, there's somebody in the circle that you're in that um, doesn't really have your greatest good or anybody's really greatest good actually, um, they're very self selfish, um, very self-absorbed out for themselves um, so where they might seem like the part of the team like the part of the um, tribe they're not and um, the energies today for me are, are really happy really high but there is that um, avoidance maybe in a few people who don't want to spoil this high moment you know spoil this good day um, by opening their eyes and looking honestly at the people they have around them, looking honestly as to whether the people that they have around them nourish them, lift them up, uh, whether it works. And um, so try not to be distracted. Th th you looking at the situation honestly, you looking at the situation and really weighing up who who is around you, what kind of energies are they bringing to your table? Um, what kind of energies are you having to be nourished by via them um, and see who comes up in your mind um, instead of it bursting your happy bubble today what it will do is it will extend that happiness because you will feel a sense of power you will feel a sense of um, command over your life and who is in your life and what they are allowed to be in your life what they're allowed to represent so there's this calling from within self and without the self for honesty for truth um, as painful as that honesty might be because there's release in it there is happiness in doing so there's a release of a maybe a bit of a burden that you didn't know quite how heavy it was um, and it's bringing to light but it's in it's in a person and so lots of us are going through this right now especially because of the scenario that we've been forced into um, we're seeing people a lot more we've got a lot more time to take note of behaviors take note of things that are said and done um, and the time is now to just like anything else that crops up during your experience uh, that needs to be cleaned out of your inner gardens or cleaned out of your outer circle um, this is the next stage in that in getting rid of these imposters who say they are your, for your benefit but they're not um, who say they are part of the group but they're not um, it's time to take the bull by the horns and um, eliminate them from your consciousness from your physical space also um, with this there is huge release with this there is huge relief um, to do so you wish you had done it sooner but again no time is wasted because during your relationship with this person whether it's been as a lover whether it's been as a friend um, a comrade 
and you know whether it's been whatever situation whatever kind of relationship it's been I can guarantee you you've got seeds of information seeds that are full of a lesson that you will use in the future that you can use for your greatest good to go forward so there's always the positive within the negative um, to, to draw that out so be aware with this person that you know they may try and spread bad news today now look at that on the wider stage in that there might be quite a few headlines again I think this came up yesterday quite a few triggery headlines quite a few um, gaslighting things where, where you know on the greater stage the, the, the mainstream media is really desperately trying to gaslight the community around them um, be aware of that because as above so below so if we're dealing with that in the above uh, the leaders so-called leaders um, of our countries then we're going to be dealing with that to an extent on the ground um, so by you being divine by you being sovereign and being brave enough to eliminate that which is poison for you that which is an imposter for you that reflects out and that actually sends a message to the greatest wider stage it sends that vibrational message to say I do not consent I do not consent to people coming into my personal space taking my energy taking my resources and sabotaging me at the same time I do not consent to that so when we're thinking of what we can do to change things what we can do to make things different it starts on the ground it starts in your personal life in your individual life and that reverberates out to make a difference to what is on top to make a difference to what people um, know as, as leaders what they can get away with and people like this on the ground in our lives push and push and push to see how far the boundaries can be stretched how much they can get out of you before you snap and so snap in a different way you know snap snap to the point of where you take control you are the one that is in the driving seat you are the one that says at this far and no further thank you I do not consent to imposters in my space I see you I see what you are I see what you bring to me and I will not have it I do not want it be gone and so as I said before that makes a huge difference to what is able to be carried out in the future via the greater stage the mainstream media because all of these little tricks and manipulations aren't working quite so well anymore they're not being taken on board quite so easily anymore they're being questioned they're being researched they're being talked about so bear in mind though if the tabloids if the mainstream media is going to be gaslighting today this person is going to be gaslighting you this person is going to be um, feeling that energy that want to draw from you and they do that by gaslighting you by gaslighting I mean um, you know telling you telling you lies manipulating the truth making you feel like you're crazy making you feel um, like something's wrong with your mind um, so the light in the light in those ideas in your brain constantly and it all is a process to conform you to, to mold you into something that is um, usable for them so it might be that those things coming up are the catalyst today to you saying uh -uh, this far no further so if you're doing that you stay calm while you're doing that because there's nothing more firm there's nothing more frightening than somebody sitting there telling it straight without even raising their heart rate without even giving that energy away so when you do this today you keep your cool you keep your divinity and the message comes across so, so much stronger you know um, 
where maybe you've been living in fear beforehand because of this person or what they might do or the lies they might spread, all of a sudden you just realise that I won't let that affect me. And that's the most frightening thing that you could do to this kind of energy, is to just cut them off. Cut off that energy source, that fuel source, cut it off. Um, because then your energy is yours. It's this, this is a leak of energy. You're leaking energy into this relationship. Whatever this relationship is to you, you're leaking energy. It, rather than you giving energy and receiving it back and it growing as it goes between the two, as energy should, um, this is a leak. This is you giving energy and that person just take, take, take and keep, keep, keep. There's no reciprocity here. So it, it, you're being called upon to do that today. Keep you cool while you do it. The second card is um, speaks of partnership. It speaks of trade deals. It speaks of new ways of doing things. But together, um, there's other people involved in this. And so it's not that you're throwing the baby out with the bathwater, clearing out your personal space from this imposter. It's that clearing out this imposter, clearing out this energy of this taker, um, actually fuels the fire in groups. It fuels the fire in teams because there isn't that leak there. That energy is, is built up and, and is able to be used. Um, and something about you learning this lesson of divinity, of being able to command what isn't allowed in your personal space, somehow the lesson of you going through the process of not consenting to that, of being stern, of being firm, um, really fires up these projects, these ideas, these teams, these people, these friendship groups, um, and gives, gives it that oomph that it needs to go further. But definitely for a lot of you, um, starting to think about, no, 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 we need to get back into trade now. We need to start up the business now. And I say, go for it. Um, you know, it's your life, it's your soul's journey. And if you have your own business that has been affected by this scenario that I will not name, won't give it air, um, I'm very sorry about that, but do something about it. Do, you know, open up. Be as precautionary as you need to be. But open up um, and go for it. Do what do you. You do what you feel is best. But there's this fire and there's these ideas flying around of different ways of doing things. Um, it, it represents the next stage for me in the Three of Pentacles that's been coming up. Um, in that they're both threes. Um, but they both represent this, this teamwork, this trade um, projects. Um, but this, this is a bit of a step up from the pentacles where the planning has gone into place in the three of pentacles. This is the fire, this is the action mode, putting those plans, um, manifesting them, putting them into the physical reality, making it actually happen, extracting it from an idea to something that is real, something that is tangible. So it's the next stage in the line. So it's, it's progression, which is great. The third card being the Queen of Swords. Now, she's upright, so in stark contrast to the to the start of the reading with this um, air princess, who wants to gossip, who wants to spread lies, who wants to cause trouble. Um, this Queen of Swords is discerning, intelligent. She's intellectually profound. Um, she has the wisdom to see right through people to see who they are at the core of them, what their core intentions are. Um, she only gets this, she only gets to this throne through very tough experiences from lessons learned. And so this to me is speaking of many of you going ahead and taking up the invitation of the universe to be supported through these energies, to clear out your circle, to make it so that your circle is strong, so that your circle um, the links that you have between each person within that circle is strong um, because here it, it's the progression we've got the fire in the middle that progression so we've got you going from this energy here receiving this kind of energy here from someone um, to you having that lesson and and 
cutting it dead, you know, leaving it, getting it out of your, out of your circle, taking the action of this fire, and through that you level up. You're the queen now. You're speaking as a queen, in that even through this person that you need to cut out of your circle, um, there's no nastiness here. There's just straight talk. There's just truth talk. Uh, this queen is very comfortable with that. She's more comfortable with that than people trying to put fluffy, nice things around a sentence or around a statement that they make. Um, and there's a respect there that's given to her because um, she doesn't suffer fools gladly. And so, and that's not in a nasty way. She just has enough wisdom to know that, you know, this experience, this time here, is precious it's it's a gift to be able to experience in the physical the way we all are um but to see it as it is that that it's an experience made up of good and very harsh lessons um feeling great and feeling the lowest of the low um so this queen has felt it all this queen has um been through it all one way or another so it reflects this growth within so many of you today, which is awesome. Uh, this queen can see through the lies, she can see through the illusion, she could see through propaganda a mile off. Um, and she just speaks on her throne and speaks the truth, um, very bluntly, but not in a nasty way, just in a way of you better know what I mean here. There's no reading between the lines. There's no, none of that. This is clear, concise decision making. So on the bottom of the deck, we've got the death card. And this speaks to, this underpinning, this reading today on the 7th, this speaks to you absolutely making space in your environment um, by the shedding of those old leaves that don't serve you anymore in order to make space and room for even more creativity, even more drive with these people around you that matter, that, that give you fire. So there's real transformation today um, and real understanding of self today and the, the strength that you have within in order to carry out something that you maybe thought in the past was too difficult and couldn't even consider it. Um, i.e. cutting somebody out of your circle uh, but today you're supported in those energies and there's great re reward for for making that space for that new growth that new expansion um, and for what can come in and fill that space of this energy that you've cut out of your of your circle something will always come in to fill that space and by the fact that you have been divine and sovereign and stated your boundaries and kept to them and then moved on along to let people make of it what they will um because you have done that the the death card is enormous today because you know when you you level up you grow again you, the next experience comes around you've got those branches of lessons that this energy has caused you to have um, I feel it's often the harshest times, the, the most difficult times, especially in relationships, are the times that really grow us even more. If we decide to take the invitation to be supported, to lift ourselves out of any of the hurt, any of the guilt, any of the shame thereafter. Um, if we can do that, then it's one of the most powerful ways of growing and expanding, both physically and spiritually. So nothing wasted. Just keep saying that to yourself today. There's nothing wasted. There's no time wasted. Um, and that it is what it is. This person needs to go. So I hope that helped. I hope that um, inspired you some way to stand strong, to be you. Um, and command what you need in your life and what you don't need in your life. If it did, drop a comment. Until next time, much love. Be balanced, be whole as always. Mwah. Love you.